fun is just about to begin. But it appears that I'm going to need to move soon. It's about damn time! I've been waiting, Hashirama! What's up, fellow collectors? P Rockzilla back again for another review, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Exclusive Edition Madara Uchiha from the Naruto, Naruto anime cartoon that you will see on TV. This figure was one that, if I remember correctly, I, I came in late collecting the Naruto SH Figure Art Naruto figures. I do got some of the older ones, um, but I'm I could be wrong. I didn't, you know, I should do my research before, but I'll make sure I confirm it when I do the editing. That this was a re-release. I think it came out before. So I think this is like an updated version. Kind of like what uh, Dragon Ball does. Where they kind of sometimes update it. Or just add some more paint to it. But anyways. I missed on this one originally. If it was released before. And I'm super happy that I was able to get him. And just reached it. New York Comic Con. Which I had a blast. Anyways. This figure is definitely the one I wanted in my collection. Because this is a kind of got one of the more known villains in the anime along with you know like naruto's dad which is not a villain but i'm saying he's a hero like they kind of battle together and stuff so that and the way he looked and i always like the uchiha clan like you know him sasuke I, I love the way they, you know their powers are and everything like that so i wanted to get this and i'm happy that sh figure arts is redoing the line again so i gotta make some more space for my collection so let's get this review started dial it tequila <laughs> So let's go ahead and take a look at the box before we get the figure out the box. So in front of the box, you have a nice picture of the actual figure with the chrome paint on there. The exclusive edition, the Tamashi Nation's quality brand right there, sticker foil right there, you want to call it the hologram. Naruto Shippuden, Bandai, Madarat, Uchiha, exclusive edition. Get another picture of the figure right here. Nice picture of Pose's figure here, stuff right here, seal, bluefin. When I first saw his character, I, I'm not gonna lie, like before I saw the anime, I thought that was like a guitar. So I was like, oh man, we got like, they got like the La Bamba thing going. La 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 Bamba, the guitar going there. You got the SH figure arts in the top and the bottom right there. So yeah, man, it's a pretty nice box. I love the way the box is, nice and simple, not too much plastic. Shows the figure basically right there in a pose that most people probably wanna keep him in, but I'm gonna switch it around. All right, so let's go ahead and get this bad boy out the box. So once you get the figure out the box, let's get the box out the way. You agree with two clamshells. Top one, I'll spin them up real quick. Top one has the figure, all his accessories, the swappable hands, the arms, as you can see here. I'll flip it upside down. You want to see which one goes there. And then the bottom clamshell is his weapons and everything that you can use for him during battle scenes, cool ass poses. Hopefully, I'll be able to get both of those done in this review. All right, let's go ahead and get Madara out and all the accessories so we can take a close look in fine detail what he comes with. And there we have Madara laid out with all the accessories that come in the package. Unfortunately, he doesn't come with like a standing base. I was kind of hoping he did so you could kind of do some cool poses with that. But I'm pretty sure I have a spare one around I can, I can use. But let's go ahead and take a look at the figure first. And here we have Madara. Now that Chrome, I know... Certain people might be watching and say, hey, I have no gloves on. Don't worry about it. I have the microfiber. I can polish that off easily. But anyways, it does look good with the chrome. or well, not the chrome, but the shiny paint application they added to the armor. So that's the difference. The hair is sculpted very good. It's a uh, way to do articulation. The cracks on the face are there. Zoom in, come on. We have the cracks in the face right there. And these are arm cross. Obviously, you could take this off to pose the other arms, which I'll show in a minute. But yeah, that's Madara right there. So let's take a look. I'll do the articulation with these on right now. And then when I switch, swap the arms out, I'll show articulation on that. But for the head, he does move up and down. Can go pretty, pretty far down, looking down. So that's real cool. Let's see if the hair is articulated. So the hair is articulated right here, this portion right here. Let's see one, yeah, it's just that portion right there. This is a soft rubber, so you can move this a little bit. And then let's see how far he could twist his head with that shoulder pad in the way. So not too far because the hair hitting the shoulder pads is limiting the articulation to the left and the right. So yeah, it's a little bit limited there. 
arms these can move pretty hot far up so you can have them doing like the little, uh, what's that russian thing or the that dance they be doing hey, hey, hey. have them doing that you can, let's see these yeah so they can be articulated so you can put the flaps of the armor up so you can get this out the way if you want to get some articulation i would definitely recommend doing that if you want to try to get some articulation in these legs this has like a little dust on there like i said fresh out of the package so it has that package dust and then you see this is all soft plastics so very malleable so you can get good poses there so while we're doing that let's take his legs the legs can get a double bend so there goes some of the dance i was talking about so that's good articulation at the legs the feet can get very good bend at the feet and you get bent at the toes too so that's some good articulation right there at the feet you do get pivot too at the ankle do you get swivel you get swivel at the uh the upper leg not the thigh ah no thigh action there all right so the same thing with the other legs so let's see if we can get the legs further he can do somewhat split he is limited because the back of the robe is limiting that but let's see and how much of a split you can get pretty much a split some of a split done there so that's good articulation for a character with the armor on all right so let's take a look at the arms the arms do get double bend so that's gonna be good articulation you get swivel at the upper bicep let's see you get pivot at the wrist obviously and bend yep oh you actually get some uh, is this supposed to happen yeah i guess so you get some at the forearm too and then obviously you will attach there i'll show that one of the other portions now excuse me it's been a while since i've seen naruto but if i'm if I remember correctly, this is the Jitsu hands. This is when they use like their Jitsu. And then you get a pair of the closed fist, obviously. You want to have some punching somebody. And then you get the open hand. You get a pair of those. And then you get the two faces. You get the one with the closed mouth. Is it Sharunga? I forget. I got, I'll look it up. I'll, I'll put it in the edit, but I'm pretty sure it's the eye that they have. You have them with the yelling face. Shutting, I, I gotta remember. I'll look it up. And then you get his fan weapon. And this is the thing that I thought it was like the guitar case or something. This is pretty cool. Not too heavy, so I don't think it would. And then the, like the base, the stem of it, the base for here, the handle, it's pretty, uh, pretty thick. So it's like it can hold. I'm pretty sure it can hold the weight without this bending. So that's pretty good. Then you get a sheath, which looks good with the paint. Looks like metallic right there I like that has the ripples and the same thing here too so it could hold the weight easily and then this is the chain that you can attach the two weapons together this is actually metal too so that's that's a cool feature it's not plastic so don't worry about wear and tear on this and basically this will attach see the slot in there you attach that under there on that one and then same thing with the other one so definitely would if I can get one of my bases and stands, I want to use that for a, a certain pose. So, all right, oop, let me get zoomed in again. There we go. Sorry about that. So, there we go. Now we have Madara out there. So, we took a look at all the accessories. So, let's go ahead and get some size comparison started. Now that we got Madara standard default pose ready for size comparison, I'm going to go ahead and bring in four figures from four different lines. First one's going to be the Figma Sekiro from Shadows Die Twice. You got to be careful this figure. He drops easily. Let's bring them over a little bit more right there. All right. Next is going to be a NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raphael movie version. Then let's bring in SH Monster Arts Mecha Godzilla. And last but not least, let's go ahead and bring in a 30DLX. Megatron. So there we go. Let me bring Megatron in a little bit more. All right. Sorry, Raphael. So there we go. Here's a good size comparison with Madara with other figures from different lines. Just in case if you have any of these figures in your collection and you're thinking about picking up Madara, you can see how he would fit in your collection. All right. Let's go ahead and get the final thoughts and final pose. All right. So in this pose, I wanted to make sure I get a pose with Madara with both weapons in hand with the chain links attached to both weapons at the end 
just in case I couldn't find a spare uh, base and stand I could use for the pose I really wanted to try out, which at this point, I don't think it look, looks good so far, but I'm gonna give it one more try before the other two final poses. But I just wanted to make sure I got one like this before. Somewhere he's kind of like, you know, looking, at this, looking right at you before the fight with that intimidating smirk. One eye looking at you, you're not even sure what the other eye is doing. If he got his little uh, shadowing guy eye going right there, so you, you don't know whether he got up his sleeve, because this dude, you know, he's evil, man. But did have a few issues swapping out the arms. The arms were fine. The crossed arms came out easily. Like I said, this, this is just could be an issue I had, or maybe I just did it wrong. But when I was trying to put in the, those, the bendable arms... It, I guess because the chrome, maybe I should have wore gloves or even I should have wrapped it with something. But I mean, not the, I keep saying chrome, but, but the the plating, the metallic plating makes it like a little slippery. So when I was trying to put it in, it did slip out and like, it knocked the head off and some of the shoulder guards, um, shoulder pads off. So I had to put there easy to put back on. Just a little issue I had, just, you know, heads up. Be careful when you're swapping all those arms. Want to give people a heads up the issue I had. But yeah, man, I love the way he looks with this pose right here. That sheet, the, the sheath, man, like that, just the pose of it right there. It looks kind of like a moon or something in the top. Then he has little, uh, you know, the fan weapon right there. I love the way, another thing with this chrome plate, I mean, I keep saying chrome, it's not chrome. Another thing with this metallic painted plate is it doesn't really pick up fingerprints, which is a good thing because I was messing with, you know, with no gloves on and no fingerprints at all so far. It's nothing to dust off, nothing to wipe off. So it holds up pretty good. So I like that. I like this pose. Let's go ahead to the next one. Once again, I'm in the action pose to see if those lefts can withstand some kind of dynamic pose in the battle scene. So here I got him fighting Naruto's dad. And I wanted to use the fan with the dual hands um, because, like I said, I wanted to basically use both weapons, one pose, one in the other, maybe possibly only the other in the other, just to kind of give it a different flavor in each pose. But so far, I mean, it, this was a little lot of trial and error. But in the end, I was able to get it. I'm Hopefully, it doesn't fall over as I'm doing the reviews. If you right now, if it does, I'm going to let it be. But this came out pretty good right here. Um, I did notice that my wrist peg, like the, the forearm thing, I'm not sure if that actually is supposed to swivel. Mine actually came loose, and now I had to actually super glue it to kind of put it back in there together. So just be careful with that. It could have been something that I, did, I caused myself, or it could have been the actual QC issue with the figure. I'm not sure. If yours does swivel, no problem. Please say something in the comments. Let me know so I can know if it's a QC issue on my end. But... I don't know if it's going to be easy to swap this figure out because it wasn't a, like an exclusive figure. So I'm not sure how to reach out to SH Figure Arts if it's a QC issue. But anyways, he does hold the pose good. The he oh, I forgot to mention one thing too. I made a mistake earlier in the, in the review. He does come with the weapon gripping hands. I mentioned that they were uh, fisted hands. He actually has the fisted hands already on him when you swap out on the other hands. So anyways, that and then to replace the face, you just same thing with any SH Figure Arts figure. You just pull the bangs out. Take the faceplate out and put the faceplate, put the bangs back on. But yep, there you go. Everything's the same. Cool, cool pose right here. So I hope you guys are enjoying the review so far. So let's go ahead and get the final pose and the final thought. Now I had to get my boy Kakashi into this review. I've been dying to get him into one of my Naruto figure reviews. And this was the perfect time. Kakashi's my favorite character of the whole anime series thus far. And I admit, you know, I didn't finish watching the anime. I got to finish watching, uh, what was it, the... Uh, Road to Baruto or whatever that's called. I haven't watched that yet, so I definitely gotta check that out. You know, messing around with this Madara figure. Kind of, you know, anytime I mess with these figures that I haven't touched in a while, a certain line I haven't touched in a while, it kind of piques my interest again for the actual figure. Not only the line, but the actual either movie or anime or cartoon they came from. So I may have to check out some Naruto again, get caught up again, and finish off that series. But I think Madara came out awesome. Um, the paint, like I said, on that, that that like metallic paint on there it dude i just i was like a little sweaty a little bit too like messing around these figures because they were so hard to get these certain poses and no fingerprints were left behind which that's something i'm very happy about because it would have been pain to butt get the pose in there and try to get something to wipe that those fingerprints off but it was good experience sweaty and, and a little tedious but we got there we got there to the end here's the final pose I wish I could have fit more of my characters in there. I do need to upgrade my turntable eventually to get a bigger one. So I could have more like battle scene type th things going on in some of these reviews. But I could have not have fit in more characters in there. I could have squeezed in Naruto and maybe some other characters. But it just would look a little too awkward. So I just went with this right here. This is something like a dream match for me. That it's just, oh, this is where I get the figures, man. I can do things like this and have fun with it and just mess around with these figures. 
So this is making me looking forward to SH Figure Arts returning to the Naruto line. I just I know this is this is the older Kakashi, so I can't wait for the. I definitely have to pick up the newer Kakashi. Got him pre-ordered. Um, I got Sakura here, so I got the review for her too. So I'll be adding Naruto her review. So I'm just happy that SH Figure Arts is coming back to this line because they this line needed to be completed and finished because there's so many cool characters in the anime, and still so many characters that they can make. So I enjoyed this figure. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please, if you enjoyed this review, hit that like, subscribe button. Click that bell notification so you can be notified of things coming up this year. I got big plans coming up this year, new things coming up. So please hit that bell notification so you can be notified. Subscribe. And as always, collectors, keep collecting, stay safe, be good, dial it.